Well, what's going on YouTube? Hey, welcome back guys. Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today we're going to talk about, not knives, we're, today we're going to talk about wallets. A little weird for me, but um, it is probably one of my most used pieces of EDC gear. That is crooked. There we go. And so it um, makes sense that it counts as everyday carry. I've carried a wallet since I was probably 12, 11 or 12, right? Um, now some people today do, and some people today don't, I understand that I do, and I always have. So let's talk about what hasn't really worked. Um, there are some phenomenal options out in the world. This is some, some of the choices that I've used in the past that didn't really work for me for various reasons. Um, when we're kids, particularly those of you that are the same age I am, you will recognize the sort of, you know, this kind of wallet, right? It's a great wallet. But um, every time I would go to the store, it did this, and I didn't really like that. But it's got some features that I really like. I like a window for my identification. It's got plenty of pockets. It's got a spot for your dollar bills or whatever else you carry in there. Uh, these days, we're mostly carrying receipts around after credit card purchases, right? There is a, a real sort of thing within the EDC community for stuff like this. Now, this is a great front pocket. Front Pocket, pocket. Watch me go, wallet. Um, it's got a money clip on this side, as you can see, and it basically just flexes open to hold your cards. This one happens to be carbon fiber, and it came from Southern Edge Knife Works. It's a really nice knife company. If you guys haven't had a chance to check them out, you should do so. This one, as much as I liked its design, didn't work for me because I don't front pocket my wallets, and carrying this in my back pocket didn't work for me either. But a lot of people do like a front, front pocket wallet. I carry a knife and my cell phone, usually a pen, and I'm sort of out of room. So not really for me, but still very nice. Uh, this is a wallet that I carried for a very long time. It is a bifold, as you can see, which is my preferred. Uh, but this one's got this little flappy thing where the ID goes, which seemed really cool when I bought it. But over time, it just sort of became a pain in the butt. Yeah, some people may not think this much about wallets, but, you know, <laughs> after a while you learn what you like and what you don't like. So here I was using this and sort of feeling meh about it, even though it is very nice. And then Andar Wallet reached out to us, uh, Women Carry Knives and I, and asked us if we'd like to take a look at some of their stuff. And we said, sure, that would be great. And so they sent us these. They sent us the Apollo. They sent us the Ranger, and they sent us the Diplomat. I'll turn that over so you can see the logo. Uh, all of these are very, very nice and very, very well made. Um, these two, uh, as you can see, are brand new, still in the box. Uh, I mostly looked at these. This one has had months of carry at this point because this rapidly became my favorite. So we'll get to this at the end. Now the Apollo, very straightforward design. It's got a wire money clip in it. It's got a spot for your ID, which I very much like. It's got a few spots for credit cards and on this, and for whatever your important cards are. And on this side, another spot for your credit cards. It's got this cool release so you can pull stuff forward and it will slide out. It also keeps it from over flexing, which is very nice. This is a very clean and simple design, although I'm not a fan of the metal. Right, so the uh, Ranger here is even simpler couple of spots for cards, final spot for cards, and a large flap area to put, you know, other cards or your cash folded up or whatever you want to do. This is a very nice, these are all great, but then I opened up the box with this. Now this is the Diplomat. Now when I got it, it was a little lighter brown. It was somewhere between these two, um, but it's everything that I want as you can see, <laughs> still has some of my stuff in it. Everything I want in a wallet. It has a really nice window for your ID. It's got a nice thick area back here for other cards. It's got credit card spaces, and it's got a great spot for your cash. And a small pocket here for receipts or change or you know whatever you want to add. This wallet really jumped out at me and immediately became the wallet that I have been carrying since basically I opened the box. I don't know what else to say. It works for me. You know, 
do you need to invest in an expensive wallet or, you know, in a wallet that, you know, isn't just like this one, you know, 20 bucks at, you know, wherever you find them? Well, yeah. <laughs> like every other piece of EDC gear, like the knives we carry in our pockets or the pens that we carry or the watches that we wear, they not only have to serve a purpose, but they've got to do it in a way that is reliable, right? And that feet, that meets all of our needs. Andar has managed to produce wallets that do all of those things. Um, this thing, man, I'll tell you, I'm hard on my stuff, right? I drive a lot. I'm in and out of my car. I'm in and out of everything. It, this thing has survived me better than any wallet I have had previously. And that's the reason I'm doing this review. I wouldn't have if it had fallen apart, but it hasn't. <laughs> so here we are. So they're a little more expensive, you know, uh, than some wallets out there in the market. But let me tell you, if you find one that you like, you will have it for a very, very long time. The Diplomat's about 55. Uh, the Ranger is also 55. The Apollo, because of the metal, is 59. That is not the most I've ever spent on a wallet. It's certainly not the least I've spent on a wallet. But uh, it is absolutely the least I've spent on a wallet that has lasted this long and this well. So if you're in the market for a really solid piece of gear to supplement your EDC, uh, something to hold your important documents, something to hold your credit card, something to hold your whatever, and our wallets is probably the direction you want to look. You know, what do I know? Except that I've probably had... 30 wallets over my lifetime. At 49 years old, I've been carrying a wallet since I was 12. So I have some small experience with the difference between good wallets and bad wallets, expensive wallets and inexpensive wallets. And, you know, <laughs> it took a lot for me to do a review of something that is so not knife related. Uh, really, it took it being very successful. And it is. As you can see, this one is perfectly shaped for me at this point. My hope is that some of you out there either have people that you want to get gifts for or that you're looking for a replacement for yourself, and this might help you. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. My suggestion is to take some time and go to the Andar Wallet website and poke around a little bit. You might find something you like. I know I did. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate you watching this Not Knife content, <laughs> although I did have one on the table for a little while. Um... If you have any questions about these, let me know. Well, I'd love to answer your questions down in the comments below. Take care, guys. Have a great rest of your day.